Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to give a really, really quick tip on how to brace um, properly and get more out of your brace. So um, one of the big things that I see people do very frequently when they are bracing is um, they will simply just breathe in to their belly and just expand their belly and just try to like, you know, puff their cheeks out or whatever. Um, and while that is a part of bracing, we absolutely do want to create a big 360 degree uh, circumference in our waist uh, against a belt ideally to increase intra-abdominal pressure and stability um we also need to make sure that we are um you know really having a consistent process in how we would do that and so one of my big tips for learning how to brace more effectively is to press the tongue to the rear roof of your mouth after you breathe in and breathe and breathe out against uh so like after you get your air in your belly and you push it out against your belt if you have a belt or just out in general um because what that's going to do is create a lot of intra-abdominal pressure tightness um you're going to be able to um feel a little bit stronger throughout the entire movements because you're going to have more of that tension um uh, just by pressing the tongue to the roof of your mouth so if you guys do that like right now for example like just press the tongue to the roof of your mouth you'll notice that your abs kind of flex a little bit or your core gets a little bit tight for lack of a better term. So I'm gonna demonstrate this with uh, how I'm squatting on my safety bar squats uh, to record today. But again, the kind of the sequence is breathe in um, and press the tongue to the, roof of, to the roof of your mouth. And you have your breath in um, as soon as you're doing that to create some additional intra-abdominal pressure. Okay, so I wanted to just illustrate how um, to do this just by looking at my squat from today. So you can see as I set my, myself, I'm gonna breathe in, and then as soon as I, I, I breathe in, I'm pressing the tongue through the roof of, of my mouth while I'm, I'm doing this, um, and keeping my tongue through the roof of my, my, my mouth. Every single time I try to get some some air, you can see I'm pressing in, uh, you know, like out against my belly, you know, making it big. I'm pressing the my tongue through the roof of my mouth. Um, again, this is going to create more stability and more um, tension in your abdominals. Um, because one of the things that we want to do, especially when we're bracing on squats and delts, is have this ribs down position, and we need to have actually have our core um, tight and kind of breathing out, I guess, a little bit against that. Um, so again, you can kind of see this really, really, really well on this first rep. I breathe in. You can see right, right there. As soon as I, I do, I do that. That's when my tongue is to, roof, to the roof of my, my mouth. So basically, like the sequence I'm thinking of is like breathe in. Tongue through roof of mouth, you know, I should feel that pressure in my uh, in my abdomen, and then as soon as I feel that and all the everything is good, then I initiate my squat or my deadlift. Um, having a strong brace is a really important thing. So, again, just make sure that you are pressing your tongue through the roof of your mouth when you're bracing, um, and that should help you out a lot with um, staying a little bit safer and being able to push out a little bit more weight on your top end.